Do you want to know how amazing people connect? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome to Marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. like what you hear, please share. Special thank you to our sponsors of Marketing with Russ, Lebanon Chamber of Commerce, the Alzheimer's Association, and Operation Smile. For more information on the Lebanon Oregon Chamber of Commerce, go to lebanon-chamber.org. And for more information on the Alzheimer's Association and how to give to this amazing organization, go to alz.org. And finally, for more information on Operation Smile and their amazing stories, go to operationsmile.org. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie. I am ready to go. Honestly, I am here and ready for you for an amazing day, an amazing week. And I am so excited about this morning and the guest we have. Mike Begg has just got so much value for you today. And you're going to want to share this out right away and let others know. So I'm excited you're here. This is Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie. We're here every Monday and Thursday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for your listening and viewing pleasure. And I love it, this community and how it has grown and the blessing that you all are. So if you're watching live or if you're watching on replay, please engage today. Engage with us in the program if you're live. Make sure and comment whether you're live or on replay and uh Go ahead and connect with people in the comments. It is a great place to connect with others. So I want to encourage you today to do that. And there is so many great, great opportunities when we come together as community, right? So I'm all about that. I'm all about connection. And this show is all about how amazing people connect. Because, you know, I believe, I truly, truly believe that Connection and community building is the foundation of any good marketing plan, any good business, any good life, really. If you want to do amazing things, you need to connect with others because we are better together. Let's all say that together. We are better together. Yes, we are. And so this is a new year, new opportunities, and I'm so excited about what's out there. You know, my word of 2024 is abundance. I believe God has an abundant world out there for us to go out and take advantage of and be part of. And so today I want to encourage you to be part, engage with others, whether it's here on live streaming or social media or whether it's in person, which is really the best way to go. Real life is kind of there's this cool thing, you know, where you actually can see people and you can shake their hand or hug them or say hi or whatever. Uh, so take advantage of that today. I love to connect with people. However, whether you can be here in person or live uh, on video or whatever, you go to RussHedge.com today and find out all the ways to connect with me, social media, my email, my phone number. You can even schedule time directly on my calendar to Zoom with me. I would love to do that today. You know, my goal again for 2024 is to uh, connect with at least a thousand new people. And I know some people think that's a, a gigantic number, but you know what? It's only just over three people a day. And I have just done that and knocked that 
out of the park the last two years, I've been able to connect with over a thousand people. So it's amazing if you just put a little work into it. It's amazing what you can do. Also, I would love to have you in our YouTube community. I make it simple. Just go to marketingwithrust.live, marketingwithrust.live. Our community is growing. Please go there today. Just you can open a separate window right now and subscribe. What does that give you? Well, let me tell you. Easier access to all of the amazing videos and live streams that I've done over the last several years. Um, and you're not going to want to miss the value and the people that I am blessed to be friends with. Just like Mike today, you, there are so many amazing people that are willing to come on and share their expertise with me and with you in this show. So I want to tell you today, get over there, go to marketingwithrust.live. You'll be glad you did. Hit that subscribe button. It'll be great. And also, if you could share this out, like I said in the beginning, you can tag your friends or hit the share button and share it out there on your page because that gets the word out. That's how we help each other and bless each other. Love it. And I'm so thankful when you do it for me. I am happy and just more than willing to do it for you because when we work together, more good things happen. When we work together, we are better together. That's what I said at the beginning. All right. So I'm so excited about all that. Also behind me, as you can see my book, Befuddled, Live the Life You Choose. You're going to want to pick a copy up of that. Also, the two books that came out at uh, the end of last year, amazing collaborative books that I wrote. Uh, part of, I wrote a chapter for each book. First one was Rattled Awake, Volume 1. You're going to want to get a copy of that on Amazon. And the second one, A Note to My Family, You Are My Legacy. Those are both amazing books with amazing other authors. We all work together, collaboration, because we knew we would be better together. Those are amazing and available at RussHedge.com also, believe it or not. Just make it easy on yourself. Just go to RussHedge.com. It'll bounce you to Amazon or bounce you to my publisher or somewhere where you can get those books today. So I really encourage you to do that. Those books are all available in ebook as well as in uh, paperback as well. There's also a workbook that goes along with Befuddled on Amazon you can get as well. So appreciate that today. And now it is time for your marketing tip of the day. So your marketing tip of the day today is gain visibility, use video. I know I've talked about this before, but I was thinking about it today because our guest is big into Amazon and different things that I my co-host D. Scott Smith does Amazon live video. There's great opportunities. I do video like this live streaming as well as we do little bits and piece videos that go out there, little snippets of whether it's this show or whether it's the marketing tip of the day. When you do video, people see you and you are the difference maker. When you do video, it raises your visibility. It gives personality to you and your business and who you really are. So today, whether it is just a live like we're doing here today or just a little short video that you do a selfie video on your phone, use video, raise your visibility, and that is your marketing tip of the day. All right. So with that, it's time to get Mike in the show. I think we've chatted long enough and here he comes, Mr. Michael Bag. Hey, Mike. Hi, Russ. How are you doing? Thank you for having me here. You bet. So great to have you. You know, we had an amazing talk a while back and you were doing some incredible things. So why don't you give everybody a little snippet, a little idea, who is Mike Bag and what are you up to? <laughs> well, thank you for, very much for that. Uh, hopefully I'm interesting, but uh, I'm currently the CEO of AMZ Advisors. I am a, uh, wouldn't say lifelong entrepreneur, but I've kind of become a serial entrepreneur uh, over my career. Uh, originally started out of college working in the corporate side, uh, figured out how to sell products online through e-commerce, started doing that, eventually built an agency out of that. And uh, now I've built uh, four or five different businesses that I'm running uh, through partners and, and through other employees. So uh, that's a little bit about what I'm doing for work. Me personally, I'm from Connecticut originally. Uh, I live in Guadalajara, Mexico now, which is where my wife is from. And where also I have a, a lot of my employees in our office. So uh, yeah, that is a, a high level overview of myself. Well, you know what I love about that? It just goes to show it doesn't matter where you are. Uh, you can do business worldwide. We've got such a, the world has shrunk so much. Such a such a real global economy and just a global community. Um, I love that. I'm, I am blessed to be part of that global community. And that is an amazing thing. So when it comes to business, and I love how you started with e-commerce. You know, I was um, 
kind of on the ground floor with some friends that got into e-commerce early on, but I didn't jump in actually. I stayed in the corporate world. It took many years later before I got here into the global community, but let me tell me a little bit about how you got involved in e-commerce and because I know there's this guy named, um, what's his name? Uh, the Amazon, oh, the Amazon founder. Yeah. He made a few dollars on e-commerce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he figured that out pretty well. Uh, yeah. So, he, I, like I said, I kind of started on the corporate side as well. I was working in uh, real estate development. I was actually working on the retail side, uh, and I was working for Sears, which no longer exists. And this was less than ten years ago, which is crazy to think. Uh, during that time, we were going through the process of selling off a lot of stores, redeveloping stores, and. We had an offer come in for a mall uh, in some, it was pretty much a closed mall, uh, but we owned the, real, the the land there. We had an offer come in from Amazon. And I was thinking, why does Amazon want to buy a mall? And uh, once I dug into it more, I figured out what they were doing was turning the mall into a fulfillment center or a warehouse, essentially, to, to send inventory out. And that kind of opened up my eyes. I was like, well, why does Amazon need uh, these warehouses? And then I started figuring out that Oh, you can sell products on Amazon. Uh, myself and, and two of my partners now, we started with what's called retail arbitrage, just pretty much buying stuff in, in Walmart, Target, whatever on discount, and then turning around and selling it on Amazon. Started making some money there, took that money, realized that we could build our own brands. So we, we created an art supply brand, uh, started importing products from China. We sold markers, we sold colored pencils, we sold paint, uh, all types of different products uh, on the Amazon platform. And we ran into, into some challenges with logistics, with uh, you know, inventory management. That's kind of par for the course when you don't really know what you're doing for the first time. But the thing that we learned the most is that we were competing with brands like Crayola, who is an absolute giant in the e-commerce space or in, in the art supply space where we were. And we were beating them in a lot of their categories. So that kind of opened up our eyes to realize that a lot of big companies don't know what they're doing on Amazon. And from there, that's the idea of uh, where the agency came from. It's like, let's go help these companies be more successful online. Well, you know, it's interesting because I have a good friend, um, CJ, Dr. Constance Leland, who's here uh, giving a big woot woot in the comments. And she is all about leveling up. And I find it interesting that the playing field has really been leveled with the digital age and all the opportunities that we have, Mike. I mean, you, like you said, some of the really big companies don't really know what they're doing in some of these arenas. And some of the smaller people become much bigger because they know more and they're able to really take advantage of those areas. So do you ever help other people do this as well? Or do you guys mostly just keep keep it to yourself? And, and, and how do you handle that? <laughs> I mean, we've worked with a variety of different companies. Uh, we've worked with some very large companies early on. We've also worked with entrepreneurs. And they're both uh, rewarding in different ways, obviously. Building something from the start as an entrepreneur is, is something I love to see and I love to help people with. And we have a lot of brands that we've done that with where we've taken them from essentially zero to doing you know, 10 million or more a year on Amazon. So th those stories are awesome. They're amazing. Uh, that being said, working with a lot of big companies is also an incredible experience because you have advertising budget, you have uh, the ability to try new things and see what works and what doesn't work, or the ability to test faster and figure out uh, how we're going to scale a brand or how we're going to scale sales faster. Those are a lot of learning opportunities that we can take and then leverage that information to help other people. So uh, we work with both and it's been a, it's been a fun ride doing both. Uh, if I had to choose, I would probably choose uh, working with at least mid-sized companies uh, because working with small entrepreneurs can be challenging sometimes. You know, every dollar matters. The advertising budget is very strict and right. sometimes uh, it limits what we can do a little bit. So uh, we try to do the yeah. best we can with everyone. Well, we know what I love about that. It, you talk about opportunity and you talk about the ability to learn and grow. And I think that's really what it's so important to all of us. You know, here we are in a new year, right? Gave the opportunity, new opportunities to learn and grow, whether we're working with bigger companies or smaller companies. Um, there is so much opportunity. Who would have thought years ago when I was young that I would actually have an opportunity to do on my own, write a book and publish it and get it out there on Amazon and look like 
just like all the big authors, you get it out there on Amazon. You know, you may not be as famous and popular as the New York Times bestseller authors, but the last two books that I wrote and CJ in the comments here and Dr. New and a few of the other people here today were part of a couple collaborative books that I did that were international bestsellers, number one on Amazon. So it is amazing the things that you can do um, today because you take advantage of the opportunities. And like you said, I think a lot of the, the bigger companies were slow to the slow to the game, right? Slow to get yeah. in there because they thought they were too big for everybody. I remember the story of, uh, I think it was Blockbuster Video, and they had this little company called Netflix that came along, <laughs> and they just wrote them off and laughed. Thought we've got everything covered, and you know this thing they're doing is ridiculous and stupid. And guess who's not around anymore? And guess who's doing billions of dollars, right? So yeah. you never know where you can go. Exactly. I mean, you never know what opportunities are going to come, and kind of keeping the the doors open, uh, or at least keeping your eyes open to what doors are coming, uh, is the important thing. I mean, I said I have a variety of different businesses now. Starting this business helped us start a digital course. It helped us start. A distribution business in Latin America. Uh, it's helped to start a, another business that helps brands expand, expand globally to other markets uh, in Europe and in Asia. Uh, and it's also met, introduced me to a ton of other uh, entrepreneurs where we've tried things, we've maybe failed, or I've at least been able to help them. So yeah, I mean, that's it's one of the incredible things that, that we're able to do now with internet, with, with the ability to connect with anyone around the world. There's always new opportunities open to you. So why Guatemala? Other than your your beautiful <laughs> wife is there, obviously. That's a good reason right off the bat. But I mean, did you have a particular reason why you liked moving there? So it's actually, it's Guadalajara uh, in Mexico. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, okay. no, 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 it's all good. No, I, a lot of people get those two uh, mixed up sometimes. But uh, so originally when we were starting the agency side, we had a little bit of money saved up from uh, selling our own products and selling the brands. And we wanted to make the money last as long as possible. So we were like, Hey, let's move to Mexico. We'll save money, uh, cheaper cost of living myself and my two partners. We ended up moving to, to Playa del Carmen. Uh, that's where we were for the first three, four months in Mexico. Playa del Carmen's a beautiful place. It's uh, very touristy. Uh, after a few months, I wanted to kind of get out and see what Mexico is really like. Uh, and I decided to come to the cities. So I came here to Guadalajara. I ended up meeting my wife. I, at that point, I, I, I left and I traveled for a little bit. I ended up coming back here at some point. And from there, we kind of just started dating. So that's how I ended up here in Guadalajara. And the reason I've stayed here, apart from my wife, is that uh, it's very practical to work with U.S. companies from here. I mean, we're on a central time zone, so it's communication is easy. Uh, we're all working in the same time zones. The talent here uh, for employees has been also incredible. We've made some really good hires here in Mexico that have helped us grow our business a lot faster than we would have if we were working on our own. Uh, so it's been a lot. It's very been very advantageous uh, to be here. I would say. Well, you know, I think what's interesting about all of that is, first of all, I've been blessed to be able to be in Playa del Carmen, um, and of course, you could probably guess how I took uh, amazing cruise and we we docked right there or right by it. And yeah. so it was, a, that's an amazing place to see some of the ruins from, I think they're Aztec ruins and stuff that are there. Amazing. But, um, you know, I think when you're looking for, uh, opportunities, like you said, it doesn't always have to be right where you are, be flexible, move and grow and expand with the opportunities out there in front of you. So you kind of went from one business to two business, to three business, Give us a, just a quick synopsis. What are the different businesses? I mean, you kind of gave a short sum up, but tell us what the different businesses are you have. So, yeah, we have the, the largest one right now is AMZ Advisors. Uh, we are a marketing agency for the Amazon platform. For, so essentially anyone that wants to grow on Amazon, that's what we help with. Uh, we have another company called AMZ Global. Global uh, helps brands expand globally. Uh, so our focus there is how do we get brands from the U.S. to Europe, Europe to the U.S. or, or to Asia or whatever other marketplaces uh, they're interested in moving into. And we help with uh, the compliance, the logistics, figuring out everything they need to know about selling in those marketplaces. Uh, and then we have another business or I have another business called Go Avance, uh, which is distribution in Latin America. So essentially, to make a long story short, it's very difficult for U.S. and foreign brands to get into Mexico if you do not have a business in Mexico. We solve that problem for businesses by being their distributor here in Latin America, in Mexico to start with, and Latin America in general. 
And we actually sell the products on their behalf, help them get into retail on the all, all the e-commerce platforms. Everything they need to do is pretty much turnkey for them. Uh, and that's the way we work with companies there. And then on a side note, uh, speaking of Plydale Carmen, again, uh, I have another business called Magnified. Magnified is an outsourced sales service. So companies that have leads, but maybe don't have the salespeople or are not good at closing deals themselves, uh, they come to us and we work with them to help them uh, increase their close rates, make sure that their their no-show rates are going down and try to maximize the leads that they have or the revenue that they get from the leads that they have. So that came from uh, someone that we met in Playa del Carmen. So another partner that lives there. So it's kind of a, like, like we said, opportunities, keeping your eyes open, seeing what's there. One of my partners made friends with this guy and then we just continue to talk, come up with new ideas. And then we had the idea to do this. So it's very interesting to see how I got to all these places and how so much of it just comes from seeing what opportunities are around me. Yeah, that's amazing. You know, I love that you're talking about how you connected with an individual or your partner did. As you connect and grow with people, you find these new opportunities because you have you have a bigger vision because you're working with others. And like I said at the beginning, we are better together. We come together. And when you when you start brainstorming and working together, you can come up with so much amazing opportunity like you're talking about. You know, I have um, I know that people hate the sales game and I've been in sales and marketing for my whole life. And uh, so I help companies, small to medium sized businesses with their sales and marketing because people have such a tough time with that. You know, they don't want to be the sleazy sales type person, but they don't know how to really get their image out there and, and really, you know, get visibility, gain visibility in the market. Um, and, you know, one thing I, I love what you're talking about, how you're teaching people and you're growing. And like you said, that is an opportunity that came by connecting to other people. So that's just what I want to remind everybody every time you get out there and every time you have an opportunity to connect with somebody and build community it's amazing what opportunities might become available that you never thought of before it's amazing through one conversation what you might be able to do that you were never able to accomplish before and i just think that is so critical and important today that we're working in that direction so and i mike i love what you said you know how you went from one thing and then it expanded to another thing and they're just opening up new things because of what you're already currently doing what is your favorite two two questions what is your favorite part of your businesses that you love to do personally and number two what is your favorite thing about guadalajara did i say that right that time yeah yeah you got it right good Good. (laughs) there's those are those are very tough questions uh for me um I'm naturally a big problem solver. I love trying to figure out solutions. I love tinkering with things, seeing what works, what doesn't work. So for me, the my favorite thing is figuring out or, or hearing a problem in my business and trying to develop a solution for it, whether it's employees, whether it's tech, whether it's just better operations, better management, KPI management, whatever it may be. Kind of jumping in and solving problems is really what I enjoy doing. Uh, and I think that's where I kind of excel within the business and my partners handle other areas. Uh, I would say that my favorite part about Guadalajara, and actually I'm going to say there's two. Uh, one is if you enjoy tequila, the, the town of tequila is about 40 minutes away. So uh, Jose Cuervo has their factory. All the other big tequila brands are right here. So uh, if you like tasting tequila, it's a great place to be. And uh, two, Guadalajara is the gastronomical city uh, of Mexico. So if you're looking for good food, uh, you can pretty much find anything here. Uh, Any type of food, high quality, Mexican, whatever it is, uh, you'll be able to find amazing restaurants here. That is so amazing. You know, I honestly don't know a lot about Guadalajara, except for that I had a really good friend in high school that was an exchange student. Uh, And so that's been a few years ago for me, but she told me a little bit about that. And I would love to be able to travel there. What a great, great place to go. Um, and, you know, I love food, of course. Yeah, you know, yeah. being from Oregon, uh, the Portland uh, Salem market is really good for food and coffee and things like that, too. So that's one good thing about where I live, besides the fact that I love the Northwest. But, um, no, I love that. And, you know, being a problem solver, I think so many people need that, Mike. So many people are running up against problems. And I want to encourage people, do not run your life through fear because we so many of us are fear have a fear of sales a fear of problems things going on what you need to look at is hey you know what how about the perspective that this could make me better this could make me stronger this could expand the way i think 
and it could actually shift the direction I'm going to a better direction, right? And so you never know what is possible. Wanted to throw out a quick thing for those that don't know this at the end of the month here, having a workshop uh, that is turn cold calling into making friends. So for those people that hate cold calling and the sales part of that, again, your business out is one of the worst things ever. You need to sign up. It's only $49.95. It's a super cheap class. And this is a, this is my show. So that's my cheap commercial there. But what I'm trying to tell you is if there's any problem with cost wise to come to me, I'll, I'll figure things out, but it is a great opportunity to learn how to make sales a fun and easy process and not the grueling, horrible, nerve wracking, fear filled process that most people think it is. So, uh, Mike, I love that about all you're doing. Give us a wrap up today of what you really want people to remember from the show today. What is your gold nugget from today and what you've learned in your business? And then tell everybody how to get in touch with you. I think you actually kind of just touched on it and I'm just going to reiterate it in a different way. Uh, there's a very, uh, I guess I would call it a famous book. There's a very good book out there called uh, The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. And I'm a big believer in that concept. We're talking about not being afraid of, uh, of uh, problems, not being afraid to learn or, or trying to learn, trying to grow, trying to find new opportunities. I believe in the central theme of this book is that the obstacle is the way. Whatever obstacles you have in your life, when you start tackling those obstacles directly head on is when you start seeing new opportunities open, new doors open, the stress, whatever problems is being caused uh, to you will go away. And that's the way that I kind of focus and live my life and, and run my businesses. When there's an obstacle in the way, I know that it's something that needs to be dealt with. It's not something that I avoid. The more that I avoid it, the more painful it's going to be uh, going to become. So right. dealing with those problems is probably the best way to do it. And uh, that's kind of what I think I, I would want most people to take away here. And then they get in touch with you. How? Yes, you can reach me at uh, our website, amzadvisors.com or directly at my email, uh, mike at amzadvisors.com. Uh, you can also connect with me on LinkedIn. So uh, I'm reachable on all those platforms. Awesome. And it magically appeared below you as you spoke. And so there it is right there, everybody in the comments It's clickable. It's in the show notes. It's super easy for you to get to Mike today. And I tell you, you will be blessed for just knowing him. Uh, I appreciate you so much, Mike. You know, you are a have become a friend just in a very short time. And I appreciate that because you know what? When we come together, I've learned so much already about the things you're doing and it gets my wheels turning and gets me thinking about what I can do and how I can be better in all that I'm doing. And so I want to tell you how much I appreciate you and all that you're doing. And uh, so anyway, everybody connect with Mike. I'm going to say goodbye to you for now, but hang tight in the, in the green room. I'll be right there because I have a question for you. Okay. Thank you again for having me, Russ. I really appreciate you as well. You bet. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. All right. I'm telling you, amazing. Amazing. Um, there is so much that he is doing because he is willing to step forward. Reminds me of my friend, Dr. Constance Leland, uh, who is also doing amazing things. And, you know, the two of you have to connect, by the way. Um, and I just want to thank everybody. Yolanda, thank you. Uh, thank you to, uh, I saw Jill and CJ. I've already said thank you, Dr. New. Uh, just getting a few people out there. Leanna. Hey, Leanna, Michael. Uh, yes, uh, I'm going to stop there too many to, but you know what? Don't forget to share this out. Do not forget to, um, to connect with people that you see in the comments, um, and share this to your friends that are already there. That would be so awesome and amazing. Remember you can subscribe on YouTube by going to marketing with Love you to do that. Really trying to, I'm just a couple people from getting that over the next hundred mark. So now we're, uh, we'll be cresting the 300 mark and I'm really trying to grow. It's new and, and exciting. So trying to do that. Also, don't forget, you can re reach me anytime at restedge.com, restedge.com for anything. Uh, if you want marketing coaching, keynote speaking, if you want live stream production or help with your live streaming or video in general, connect with me. I have a really good friend, Sri Mahavar, that is excellent in video at all. Also that I would help connect you with. And I have a great community out there. So please, please connect with me. I would appreciate that. And um, yeah, so I think that wraps things up for today. Don't forget, we are here every Monday 
and Thursday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, for your listening and viewing pleasure. And I am so thankful that you joined us today. You remember, if you're watching on replay, please put hashtag Team Replay. Share this to your friends. Let them know uh, we're building and growing this community. And again, I want to do a huge, huge thank you to our sponsors today as well. I uh, appreciate them. Without our sponsors, we would not be able to do what we do. So with that, have an amazing week. We'll see you on Thursday. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie. Be sure to subscribe in your favorite podcast app so that you don't miss a single episode. Have an amazing day.